بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear students this is Miss Layla Jihani In شاء الله today we will continue our unit unit five making choices Today in شاء الله we will cover two lessons seven and eight conversation and about you Before we start let's recall what we covered in our previous lesson In our previous lesson we covered these two points We identified points of view in a radio interview We heard the radio interview and we differentiated between the tif two different points of view. Also, we differentiated between the pronunciation of the clustered sounds and how to pronounce it in the beginning of words. Okay? Inshallah, today, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to and answer questions related to making choices, express cause and effect, Answer questions based on a given conversation. Use the new vocabulary in a new conversation. We will use the real talk expressions in creating a new, um, a new conversation. Please open your books, page 52. We will start with about you. Okay? You have different questions. Okay? We will go through it one by one. Uh, let's start with the first question. Have you ever had to make a, a difficult choice in your life? Think about your life. Have you ever made a really difficult choice? You think something, you choose between two things or three things, something very difficult and you did it. Think about it. What were the, op uh, the opinion, uh, the options? Do you have different options? Uh, like, for example, uh, studying mathematics or like when you go, inshallah, uh, to university, inshallah, in the future, you have a really difficult choice. You have to choose between majors, صح? Either you go to medicine, uh, engineering, you will choose, so it will affect your future. This is a very important choice, okay? What were the positive and negative results? If you think about something that happened in the past, did something positive come out of your choice? Did something negative come out um, of the choice you made? I have this example. The choice I made here, have you ever had uh, to make a difficult choice? Yes, I have. This something happened to you. What were the options? I have to move to another city. This is something. I have to leave my house, leave my family and move to another uh, city. Okay, which led, this is the result here, which led to better job opportunity. Okay, this is something you can um, give other examples and share it with your classmates. Let's see the second question here. Have you ever helped a friend to decide about a personal dilemma? What do they mean about dilemma? An issue. They mean an issue. Okay. Have you ever, if you, one of your friend, he has a really something difficulty, um, a problem or an issue, and you helped him make a choice, did that happen to you? Did you help a friend? Tell us about it. You have to tell us about it. I have this example. Have you ever helped a friend? Yes, I have. I helped him or her, you can say, you can say anything, decide whether to study in Saudi or get a scholarship okay this is an example okay uh, the third question we have what are the most common important choices young people in your country have to make when we're talking about young people we're talking about you you are the young and new generation صح? طيب, do you, what is can you tell us some of the most important the common important choices things the young people choose can you think about it? Tell your friends about it? Yes, there are many choices to make, such as future job. Okay, this is one of the choices. Choosing their major, inshallah, when you go to university, choosing the major is one of the most um, important and difficult choices young people uh, have to go through. Okay? This is it. Uh, this is what is related to uh, about you now moving on to conversation page 53 i want you to look at the picture and we have this video here what do you see you see different airplanes 
aircrafts, they are doing some uh, bare smoke coming out of the planes. And you can see some of the planes, they go around and they make drawings. What do we call it? What do we call that? We call it an air show. We call it an air show. Have you ever been to an air show? What do you think it's uh, the air show? What is it? The air show, it's an event, something, it's a place announced, people go to it uh, to watch the air show, an event at which pilots perform stunts and aerobics with their planes and visitors can see different aircraft up close and you can also see the aircrafts landing and you can see the difference between them if you are interested in uh, air uh, planes okay طيب have you ever been to an air show yes or no if yes did you enjoy it did you like it would you go again yes you would you really enjoyed it if you haven't uh, went to an air show. Would you like to go to an air show? I'm, I, I'm, I have never, for me, I have never been to an air show. I would like to go to one, uh, inshallah, one day. Okay? Um, now we have these questions and you can see it on your book. It's related to the conversation. Okay? We have um, five questions. We have to answer it based on the conversation we will hear and read together, okay? The first question, what are Faisal's plan for the weekend? So we have someone called Fa Faisal and he has plans for the weekend. What are his choices? He has different choices. What are they? Okay. Three, what will happen if he doesn't go to Fahad's graduation? He is invited to Fahad's graduation. If he doesn't go, what will happen? What is the result? Okay. Four, what will he regret if he doesn't go to the air show? He will regret something. It's mentioned in the conversation. What is it? The last question, what do you think Faisal should do? What do you think Faisal should do? Give him an advice. Okay. Now, moving on to the conversations, um, keep in mind the words in blue here. Um, how, are they, how do they use it in the sentences? Then we will discuss it later on. Let's hear the conversations. Bismillah. What are you doing on the weekend? My plans are still up in the air. Sometimes there's nothing interesting to do. But this weekend, I have three good choices. I don't know which one to do. What are the three things? I might be able to help you make up your mind. Okay. First, Fahd has just graduated from college, and he's invited me to dinner. If I don't go to Fahd's graduation, he's going to be very hurt. I'm one of his closest friends, you know. Second, Khalid invited me to spend the weekend at his family's house at the beach. Third, the air show is taking place, and Tariq asked me to go with him this weekend. What's your preference? I'd much rather go to the air show. If I don't go this weekend, I may not get another chance to see it. It seems to me, you should do what you feel like doing. If you go to the air show, explain to Fahd and Khalid why you're going. I'm sure they'll understand. Okay, we heard the conversation. Um, if you need more time to answer the questions, pause the video, read it again, the conversation, so you can answer these questions. Let's go uh, to the first question. What are Faisal's plans for the weekend? He had different plans. He had a plan for the weekend. What, what, what is the plan for the weekend? Faisal plans are not certain. He is not certain. He has different choices and he didn't decide. Okay. The second question, what are his choices? He has many choices. Let's see it. 
His choices are to go to Fahad's graduation dinner. This is the first choice. To spend the weekend at Khalid's family's house at the beach. This is his second choice. And the third choice, or to go to the air show with Tariq. Okay, so he had three choices. He's not sure what to do um, about it, okay? The third uh, question, what will happen if he doesn't uh, go to Fahad's graduation? They mentioned Fahad will be, Fahad will be very hurt. He will be hurt. The fourth question, what will he regret if he doesn't go to the air show? He may not get another chance to see it. It's one time a year, maybe, okay? Uh, the last question, what do you think Faisal should do? If you are in his place, what would you do? Which choice would you make? You would go to the air show, or you would go to the beach, or you would go to um, the graduation. Which one will it be? And think about the choice and the results, okay? Think about if you go to the graduation. What will, uh, you will miss the other things. If you miss the graduation, Fahad will be hurt. So every choice we make, we have a result. So we have to think about our choices, صح? Think about it. If it's a very important choice, we have to ask our family around, ask our parents because they are wiser, they know better um, to help us decide our important choices, okay? Uh, now, looking at this first part, okay, Adil, what are you doing on the weekend? We have this two questions, these two questions. What is up in the air? Here, they mentioned up in the air. What do they mean? Faisal, my plans are still up in the air. Okay, what, what is up in the air? His plans, Faisal, weekend plans, the plans are up in the air. What do they mean? Did he decide? He didn't decide. Okay, he didn't decide. He doesn't know yet. It's up in the air. He doesn't know. It's a phrase we use when we don't uh, know what, is, what to do. Is he sure about what uh, he is going to do when he said it's up in the air? Was he sure about his plans? Did he decide the plans? No, he didn't. No, he isn't sure. He didn't uh, make a choice. Okay? Now, for the second phrase we have, make up your mind. What is Adil going to help Faisal make up his mind about? Uh, Adil is helping Faisal to make up his mind. What do we mean? He's going to help him make up his mind about his plans. Which choice he should uh, choose. صح? So, Faisal's weekend's plan. So, he will help him which plan to choose. Um, now, for the last phrase in blue here, it seems to me. We use it to, it seems to me. What is Adil going to say after it seems to me? What is he saying? What is he saying? What is he explaining? His opinion. What does he think? He will experience his opinion. He will tell what does he think. It seems to me, then you will tell what um, do you think about uh, anything? Like, for example, if uh, um, your mother or your father, they're having people uh, at the weekend, okay? And they prepared many things and you have a different choice. You would use this phrase. It seems to me we should do this instead of this. It seems to me it's better to... Uh, you know, so you, you will give them your opinion. What do you think, okay? Uh, it's a good idea for students to attend school more hours every day. You can say, it seems to me. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea for students to attend school more hours every day? Or you think, what do you think? Do you think we should extend the um, hours of our classes or it's okay? So you can start with, it seems to me and tell us your opinion. It seems to me the hours are long already. Or it seems to me uh, the hours are enough. Or it seems to me we need, I, I agree, I, we need more hours. So you tell us your opinion. 
with using it seems to me okay now for the real talk let's see what does these words mean up in the air undecided as we said we didn't choose undecided make up your mind decide something okay it seems to me a way to introduce your opinion a way we phrase we use it before we give our opinion okay now your turn now it's our turn to write a, co a conversation okay a role play the conversation suggest what you think Faisal should do on the weekend this is the first part a what do you think Faisal should do he had three choices go to Fahad graduation or go to the beach house with I think Adil's family and the third choice is going to the air show if you are in his shoes if you are in his place what would you do would you go to the air show would you go to the graduation because you love your friend and it, this is an important event for him and you have to be with your friend or you would go to the air show because it's only one time a year for example okay um, exercise B you have been invited to two events on the same day discuss w with a partner what you will do at each one list the positive and negative results of your choices so we have to um, imagine that we are like uh, Fahad we have um, choices to make we are invited to two events or three events uh, try to use the real talk expressions when you are writing your uh, conversation or talking to your friend practicing the conversation with your friends I have this conversation here hopefully this makes everything easier I have a conversation between Amal and Sara okay Amal what are you doing on the weekend okay so you're th talking about the weekend and the plans for the weekend Sara not sure my plans are still up in the air so I use the phrase up in the air okay this weekend I have three good choices I don't know which one to do here I didn't write about two I wrote about three choices Amal what are the three things I might be help I might I might be able to help you make up your mind Sara okay first Hind invited me to her wedding if I don't go she's going to be very hurt second Samaher invited me to spend the weekend at her family's house at the beach third the Saudi National Festival is taking place and Seja asked me to go with her this weekend so three choices Amal what what's your preference I'd much rather go to the festival if I don't go this weekend I might not get another chance to see it Amal it seems to me you should do what you feel like doing if you go to the festival explain to Hind and Samahir why you are going I'm sure they will understand okay so we practiced the conversation we uh, wrote different uh, choices and the results of the choices we use the real talk expressions uh, you should do something similar and share it with your classmates okay so what did we cover in our lesson today we covered uh, these points we ask and answer questions related to making choices expressed cause and effect uh, answered questions based on a given conversation used new vocabulary in a new conversation for uh, this part of the uh, lesson the irregular verbs please open your books page 82 to see three more practice three more verbs here we have the verb 13 we have fight fought and fought how do we use it in sentences he fights in a terrible war he fought in a terrible war this is the past and he has fought in a terrible war 
Verb 14, we have find, found, found. Okay? He finds diamonds. He found diamonds in the past. And he has found diamonds. This is the verb three. Now, uh, the last verb for today, we have fly, flew, and flown, okay? He fly to Athens, he flew to Athens, or he have, we have flown to Athens, okay? Hopefully, this uh, makes everything easier for you uh, to see how we uh, form the verbs in sentences. That's it for today. Thank you for listening, and inshallah, I will see you next class.